Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to create a colorful animated carousel in React Native. I was inspired by Atom. He created this beautiful carousel plus some background images that are blurred and are actually animated whilst going through the carousel items. And I'll show you my way of doing it in React Native by using animated API and flat list. Before jumping into VS Code, I would like to thank to uh, Sam G for creating those beautiful illustrations that I'm going to use in this particular tutorial. Let's play the intro and jump straight into VS Code and start building this beautiful animated carousel. Shall we? <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are in VS Code here. I've already created a project using Expo and I have, I grabbed some images from um, Sam G's profile from Dribble. So let me walk you through what we have so far. You can download the source code, what you have here from GIST. So go ahead, grab it, add it in your ID and we will have the same ground uh, or starter uh, starting point, right? So here we have some uh, a list of images that we are going to fed in through the flat list. So we have in total like six images or seven images. Then I have some constants for the carousel item that we are going to display inside the flat list and nothing else. The first thing that I like to do is to create the uh, carousel or the flat list. So here in, inside the main render, let's render a flat list and the data is going to be data and key extractor let's grab the index and return index to string and render item is going to have the item and return a view inside the view we'll have an image with a source of uri item because this is a string right so this is what we are going to get and there's a style let's apply a width of image with height of image height and resize mode is going to be cover all right hit save so now we have this beautiful list but we would like to transform it uh, into a carousel and to do that we need to first make this horizontal and enable the padding so now we will have this uh, carousel style but notice uh, we don't display one uh, particular slide in the middle of the screen and in order to fix that we need to go here into uh, inside the render item and specify width uh, to be the width of the screen so uh, each slide is going to be the width of the screen and in this way we have uh, each carousel uh, taking the exact uh, the entire space of the screen so we can create this uh, carousel style but we also need to justify the content to the center and also align the items to the center as well so they are nicely uh, in the middle uh, of the screen. Cool, and now to this, uh, to this image, I like to give it a border radius of 16. So also add a comma here. All right. Now we have the carousel, right? But on the background, we have this uh, image Basically, it's the current image visible inside the carousel, which is blurred. So let's go ahead and actually create that uh, right now. Uh, above the flat list, we'll have here a view. So we'll have a view. And inside the view, we will iterate over the data and display an image for each particular entry. So data map, get the image. We can also get the index and return here an image with a source of URI image. We will also need a key. So key, it's going to be image and then the index. And the style, 
This time we will we would like to have it full width and height, right? So we will make this style sheet absolute fill object. So we will have this uh, uh, stretching. But in order to make this visible, go ahead to the uh, view container here and apply the same so style sheet absolute fill object. So this way they, they will be like all uh, sitting on top of each other, right? Cool. So we have the main view stretched on the background and then we have this carousel. So let's also apply some blur to it. And in order to do that, we can go ahead here to the image and say blur radius. And let's apply 60 or 50. 60, 50, it's, it's okay. And now what I would like to do is uh, for, I would like to morph between two different images. And in order to do that, we need to first transform the flat list to be an animated flat list, get the scroll exposition and interpolate it and apply, uh, apply the interpolation or opacity for each individual image. So let's transform this flat list into an animated flat list. And on scroll, we'll have an animated event and we'll get from native event content offset the X and assign it to scroll X and we'll use the native driver for this example. Cool. And also don't forget to create this variable on top here. Scroll X, it's a react use ref a new animated value starting from zero get the current the reason why i'm using use ref is because i would like react to keep track of the values inside this component so whenever it uh, this component is going to be re-rendered i'm not losing uh, the the value or the uh, old value and uh, it's going to remain the same during the component life cycle so hit save now scroll is and with this scroll X, so nothing should change, right? But this time we have a scroll X, which is an animated value and we can interpolate it and apply some animations to uh, the background images. So right here where before re uh, returning uh, inside the data map, create here an input range. And the input range is going to be index minus one multiplied by the width, index multiplied by the width and index plus one multiplied by the width. So next current previous. And this is basically the input range is saying how it's going to uh, perform based uh, for the current index. So, and with this input range, we can actually create a constant hero called opacity. And we can take the scroll X and interpolate it, pass the input range, and for the output range, you will have 0, 1, and 0. So basically display the current image only when the index is equal to its own index, right? And if we modify this image to be an animated image and pass here opacity as opacity, you'll notice that now we have on the background, we have visible only the uh, active slide image right from the carousel so while we are swiping through them they will fade in and fade out based on the active slide and this one is going to give us this beautiful beautiful effect all right and before wrapping this tutorial one little ui touch here just let's add some box shadow around the carousel item so if we go to the render item method inside the flat list and to this view that's actually wrapping uh, the image, we can uh, add here a shadow color of black. So 0, 0, 0, a shadow opacity of 1, a shadow offset of width 0, height 0, and also shadow radius of let's say 20 hit save now so we have this 
this shadow, but I think that the opacity it's should be 0.5, so just a tiny, uh, tiny touch here around the edges. Alrighty guys, so that was it. Uh, it was a short tutorial, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to create such a beautiful carousel uh, and how to actually animate some background images based on the carousel uh, exposition. If you have any issues, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer all of them and help you as much as I can. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button or double smash the dislike button. That will help me out as well. Other than that, see you in the next video. Bye bye guys. Shoo! <laughs>